So in this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can combine Tropo, which is a cloud-based communications platform, with another really powerful cloud-based platform, ScraperWiki, to build an airport information system. So I live near the city of Philadelphia, and I'm often driving to or from the Philadelphia airport to pick people up, drop people off, or to fly in and out myself. Um, and one of the chief complaints that I have is that the Philadelphia International Airport website is really not good. Um, the uh, listing of flights is uh, really just not very useful. It's uh, this big, long, dynamically generated page that you have to scroll through or search to find your flight number. It'd be nice if they had a little search box, but they don't, um, or if it was just a bit more convenient to use. They also have this, they have a toll-free number with an IVR sitting behind it that's just really not good. Um, it's touch tone only, and I've actually used it on certain phones where the, uh, the DTMF key presses aren't picked up. It, it's just really bad. And it doesn't have to be this way. Uh, we can use a service like ScraperWiki, which is a cloud-based service for writing web page scrapers and persisting the data that you scrape. Uh, we can use ScraperWiki with Tropo to build, uh, quickly and easily build, a really powerful application that will let you check flight times, arrivals, and departures in Philadelphia Airport using uh, your voice, through speech recognition, through text messaging, through instant messaging, uh, all with a very modest amount of code. And I'm going to show you how to do that in the next couple of minutes. So what I have, uh, first of all, is a, a very simple PHP script. This is running in ScraperWiki. Uh, I ran it not long ago. And what it will do, basically, is it will go to the Philadelphia International Airport website. And based on the rules that I have set up, it will scrape data from that website, and it will persist it into a data store and then make that data available to me through an API. If you've never used ScraperWiki, you should check it out at scraperwiki.com. It's a very powerful service. You can write scrapers in one of several different languages. You can write them in PHP, as I've done here, or Ruby, and I believe Python as well. So you write your scraper, and you set it up to run, and it runs inside the ScraperWiki environment. And every time it runs, it will pull your data in and store it for you and make it available. So I have this scraper along with the code for um, a Tropo application that I'm going to show you shortly in a repo in my GitHub account called PHL Scraper. The scraper we just looked at is actually this PHP file here. Feel free to use it to your own uh, needs or desires, or just to look at it as an example of what you can do with ScraperWiki. So ScraperWiki lets me pull information off the Philadelphia International Airport website and put it in a data store and expose it through an API. So now what I need is a Tropo application to hit the ScraperWiki API and allow me to interact with a user through uh, text messaging or through the phone. And I have, a, again, a very simple PHP script here. It's you know about 75 lines of code, and that's probably you know, verbose because of comments and things like that and formatting. So it's really simple. Uh, what it's going to do is it's going to let a caller place a telephone call to this app or send a text message. And using the case of text messaging, a user simply needs to send the flight number and they need, they need to distinguish whether it's an arrival or a departure by using the letter A for arrival or the letter D for departure. And when they do that, my application will hit the Scraper Wiki API and it will look up that flight and it will provide information to the user via text messaging or through the phone. I have that set up in a Tropo app that you can see here. You'll also note that what I'm actually doing is I'm actually using the raw view of this file in my uh, GitHub repo as the start URL. Really nice because anytime I update this file by just doing a, um, a push from my GitHub repo, I will automatically have staged changes to this application. It's a really neat way to integrate Git and GitHub into your Tropo app. So what you see here in my GitHub repo is what Tropo will actually see. Now Tropo works in a way that is very similar to ScraperWiki. You can write your um, Tropo application in one of several different languages, PHP, Ruby, Python, Groovy, or JavaScript, and you load your script into our scripting environment, and it runs inside that environment. It's very similar to ScraperWiki, and um, when you combine those two very powerful cloud-based services, you get something that is really useful. So I do have a Philadelphia number that I can use to call and text, um, but for the purposes of this screencast, what I will do is simply use a Jabber uh, instant messaging client that I have uh, on my machine, an account that I have attached to this app called PHL Air. And what it's going to look like is, uh, well, let's, let's do this. Let's actually look at the Philadelphia International Airport website. And we'll pick a 
flight. This is going to simulate what I would do with text messaging. I can do the same thing with instant messaging as well. So we'll try flight 111 arriving from Boston. So I type in the flight number 111 and the letter A which signifies arrival. And what I get back from my Tropo application is Southwest Flight 111 arriving from Boston at 9.25 a.m. at gate E15 and its status is arrived. So if I was picking this person up I would go and uh, I would know that my the flight had arrived and I should probably meet my party there. The Philadelphia International Airport has a toll-free number that you can call and it has an IVR system but it really as I said before is just not very good. So with Tropo what you can see is now I can actually speech enable the information that I want to get from the Philadelphia International Airport. And I'm going to call this Skype number that I'm automatically given with Tropo to test that out. Thank you for calling my airport test application. Please say or enter your numeric flight number. 111. Is your flight an arrival or departure? Arrival. Southwest Flight 111, arriving from Boston at 9.25 a.m. at Gate 15 Arrived. There. So now, if I'm driving to the airport, I can actually just use my hands-free uh, uh, phone setup, and I can actually call just to make sure that I have uh, my flight has arrived or the person that I'm interested in picking up has arrived. So you can see, very, very powerful, very simple to use cloud-based technologies like Scraper Wiki and Tropo. You mash those two together, and you get something really, really powerful.